Yeah. Members of the USO show troupe entertaining at Fort Meade's 100th anniversary gala. Hundreds gathered to celebrate Fort Meade's centennial. More on the anniversary in a moment. Also this week, a member of the 742nd to the rescue. The Missoula Children's Theater is coming back. And a look ahead to the red, white, and blue celebration. These stories and more, but first, Club Meet hosted Fort Meade's 100th anniversary gala Saturday night. The event attracted officials from every level of government. Admiral Mike Rogers, the director of the National Security Agency, welcomed the crowd. Literally tens of thousands, of the hundreds of thousands of individuals moving through this installation. And then it transitions to the Cold War, and people are coming and going, and now it finds itself as at the center of information, intelligence, computers, and cyber. And it's positioned for the future, not the past. It's not, I've always loved the fact this is not a place that, well, we were something once. It's, hey, we're doing something today that matters today, and it's about the future. Fort Meade, you know, has played such a critical role uh, to play in any clown conflict the U.S. has been involved in from the beginning. From its days as signals and tank school in the First World War to its air defense mission during the Cold War, Fort Meade has shown an uncanny knack only, not only for sustain, sustaining itself, but evolving with the times. And that's what's so important, evolving with the times. And today, without a doubt, it is the epicenter of our military IT, cyber, and media efforts. And these missions are only going to become more important as we move forward in this very dangerous world. On behalf of the delegation, I had the opportunity to um, enter a statement in the congressional record, just recognizing the history of Fort Meade, and uh, you know, beginning with Camp Meade, 1914, as, as World War uh, I was, was uh, begun, carrying through World War II. The numbers are incredible. Three and a half million soldiers trained here. The scale of that is is absolutely breathtaking. Now, as Dutch said, the history of NSA being located here, the location of the new cyber uh, command. And Colonel, I'd like to present this to you. This is a statement Would you like been, No, no, it's okay. okay. Uh, this is a statement that's been entered into the congressional record, um, recognizing the history of Fort Meade, celebrating it, and looking forward to the next 100 years of tr tremendous leadership here. So I'll get on one side. Dutch, you can get sure. on the other. Okay. If you'd like to see more from the Anniversary Gala, check out our YouTube channel and our Flickr page. Elsewhere, specialist Robert Hunter was on his way home from the grocery store recently when he spied a man trying to wave passing cars down. Hunter, an analyst with the 742nd Military Intelligence Battalion, stopped and found two young men injured. One was bleeding from a head injury and the other was unconscious and in shock. Specialist Hunter immediately applied first aid, directed others on the scene to assist and even helped load the victims onto an ambulance. Basically. It was just me and a couple other guys. None of them really knew what to do, so I just kind of helped guide them through what to do. Uh, I was just telling him to uh, keep an eye on his breathing uh, as I kind of looked over him for any like uh, broken bones or anything like that. Um, I had him stabilize his neck uh, just because we didn't know what had happened at that point. Hunter says since the accident, he's found out both will survive and that both of the boys' mothers have called to thank him. Well done, Specialist Hunter. Looking ahead, the annual Red, White, and Blue celebration of our nation's independence is coming up Friday, June 30th. Festivities start at 4 o'clock on McLaughlin Parade Field. Food and novelty vendors will be on hand with a variety of offerings. Food will be served until 9.30 p.m. Free kids rides include a moon bounce, a log jammer, extreme air jumper, and much more. The rides will be open from 4 to 8.30 p.m. There's live music from Jared Mahone until September. Mahone plays from 4.30 to 7 o'clock, and Till September plays from 7 to 9.30. And of course, the fireworks. They'll start at dusk, approximately 9.30 p.m. A couple of reminders, pets, sparklers, and glass containers are not allowed. The event is open to the public. For more information, you can go to www.me.armymwr.com. In more MWR news, the Missoula Children's Theater returns to Fort Meade July 17th through the 22nd. The theater travels across the country staging a performing arts residency program. The program gives kids the opportunity to audition, rehearse, and perform a play on stage by the end of the week. This year's production is The Tortoise and the Hare. The camp is open to kids from 1st through 12th grade. Note the kids have to have finished 1st grade in order to participate. There is a fee and the registration deadline is Friday, July 7th. For more information, call 301-677-1149. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.